to my channel if you don't already know the vibes i'm gonna say what for the subscribers say what say what i got a cup of coffee i brought my laptop out today to talking about something important i <laughs> today i'm gonna be exploring how i gained weight i know i've got a lot of like questions about overgrowth gyms on how did you gain weight like oh i want to know i want to know there's no tea i mean there's only coffee i don't know why i said that so i'm on my parents this is gonna be a quick short video just so i can just like talk because i don't really do like a lot of sitting down and talking videos that is what we're doing today i'm gonna be as realistic as possible i am going to give my tips give what i did and as you've already seen by the title is without gym even though i had i have just started gym like i literally just began gym last week and i've only gone twice so there isn't really much of a difference anyway with, with, with what i'm about to say right now so let's get into the vibes make sure to like comment and what subscribe do what you need to do don't be a wicked person thank you <clears throat> meal prep if you guys have been following me for a very long time you guys will understand that i have been very very keen on like the meal prep especially with the fact that i am an acting student and my classes are from nine to five basically each day even though it's a nine to four but it's back in the mind there's no time for me to actually make fresh food every single day so what i have to do is i have to plan out my meals in advance by the month if that makes sense so like this month i've already planned out what i'm gonna eat for like the first second week second and third week and then my food for the third and fourth week that kind of vibe when i meal prep for the week yeah i know exactly what i'm gonna eat especially if i've had a really really bad or not even bad day but like a really stressful day i just want to come back home and eat something I go into the I go into my fridge, pick up something and I put it into the microwave and I warm it up. Most of the time I know prep is fried rice or jollof fries. <laughs> you need to be eating food. Like good quality food. I'm Nigerian. My quality food in my mind is make sure you have that meat in there. Make sure you have that meat in there. Which we'll go into my next point, but make sure you're eating some type of food. I have always struggled with eating, that's a personal thing, so I try my best to at least eat three times a day morning afternoon and night sometimes i skip night food because meh. but for me at least mandatory morning and afternoon so because i have already meal prepped my afternoon food is already sorted and then morning food for me just bacon eggs and bread or cereal with milk something very subtle no like there's no hassle behind it like yeah the next point i really want to make is the types of food to eat now in this case obviously when it comes to adding some type of muscle some type of weight you need to be eating a lot of meat and i have i don't think i've seen anyone really speak about this but like even though you are eating meat because we are different human beings there's a way that that meat stores itself in our body for example last year when i was eating a lot of meat i realized that yes 
and adding so much weight to my body but it started to impact the way my face looked like which was a really really bad concern for me and even though yes i was adding that weight there was a way that my body was looking now so okay it does look good but like it comes to a point where it's like okay gentle calm down so to incorporate with that tip i'll say even though you're eating a lot of meat make sure that you are and you're most definitely are moving so i'm an acting student like so many times i literally wake up in the morning and like 9 a.m classes we're literally running around the class i'm literally running i'm literally sweating because that's my movement even though that is some kind of good movement i've obviously joined gym now but <laughs> last year when i was doing when i did not do any form of gym whatsoever and i'm so really incon i don't really really like consistent with doing gym i mostly put my energy towards actively moving so sometimes whenever i know that i can walk a certain distance i'll rather walk because in my mind i'm i'm actually doing some kind of movement to shed any kind of like unwanted i won't call it fat but then lack of better words fat that i have on myself so that i am balancing the kind of muscle i am gaining if that makes sense coming with the fact of um, types of food to even eat you need to just you need to like consider what kind of food you want to eat so for example i like beef but then i don't want to eat beef every single time i like chicken but i'm not going to eat chicken every time you will never you will never catch me to fish sorry i can't eat fish sometimes taking beef chicken becomes becomes so boring so whenever i get stuck with like food ideas or like food food meal prep ideas pinterest is honestly your best friend pinterest and tiktok i'll say pinterest like you can just be like oh launch a static idea and then you just like scroll at different kinds of meals that people post on their pinterest and you're like okay good i think i want to replicate that oh i think i'm thinking that this is something that i really want to put my interest into this is something that i actually want to cook and eat if that really makes sense i mean you know, you know the funny thing about me is like obviously growing up nigerian like food is literally rice and stew rice and chicken fried rice and stew fried rice and this da, 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 da. like there isn't that much of diversification of food because it's that rice and stew chicken and stew say chicken and, stew, and pasta and stew swallow like it's um or even if you're if you're even lucky maybe chips and plantain like let's be so furry right now it could be really really hard to like branch out of the kinds of ideas of food that you want to eat food that i never really took when i was growing up was mashed potatoes and peas or like sausages to me that's a that's that's a big back meal i have mashed potatoes vegetables and meat so i could have like chunks of like beef like a beef sauce there I'll have my, my lovely mashed potatoes that I made by myself and have some veggies because you gotta eat your greens, ma'am. Pinterest and TikTok are your best friend when it comes to looking for food in school. If you look at my TikTok and if you look at my Pinterest, like I literally have bunches of food. And then even when I'm meal prepping, yeah, and I'm like, okay, today, this this month, I don't want to have pasta and meatballs. This month, I don't want to have jollof rice or roll fried rice. I just go through all the dishes that I have and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to have for this week. The next important tip I'm going to give, this one I have never done in my life. I have never done it don't buy weight gaining pills i've heard a lot of people trying it i don't i'm not even gonna lie don't do it like i said our bodies are so so different like god did not make us the same yes we are in his image but that doesn't mean that we have the same body mechanics and the same thing that works for somebody else may, may definitely not work on you even though it's working for her I still recommend that you don't try weight gaining pills. I just feel like it's a bit too far off when you can just eat food. And yes, before you even jump on me and start saying that, oh my god, what she's saying. So I used to have a fast meter. I think I think I do have a fast metabolism still. Me, the reason why I'm saying that is because I don't know. Yeah, I do. It's hard for me to gain weight, and it's very easy for me to lose weight so meaning that okay last year now i spent my whole year from january to this to basically december gaining weight i had added so much gains i was looking really good that was me surviving on my cooking when i got to nigeria and i did not have any of my things for myself i lost weight in that whole week um i'm not even joking like my mom can literally can like she can say it everything that i had gained in one year was lost in one week yeah <laughs> anyway that's besides the point 
don't get weight gain pills i don't feel like it's good adding weight is a journey like it's not something that you should rush over you can give yourself complications that you're not going to like you did not even sign up for the next step i have is drink water I even split that up drink water and make sure you're detoxifying i'm going to talk about drinking water so some of you out there don't like drinking water um i don't know what to tell you i can't even like explain how unhealthy that is like i can't even explain like i love drinking water like sometimes yeah sometimes there's there are days where it's like oh my god i don't want to drink water like what the hell bro i don't want to drink water this world has so like diversified to the point where it's like there's even flavored water now come on come on like what are you doing there's squashes out there where you just put a tiny in to go to drinking water even though drinking pure not pure water <laughs> Just drinking just normal water is so good for you. There's so many things that drinking water helps to do. It replaces the water that helps to trans that, that helps to move the blood in your system. Like it, it, it basically keeps you alive. And the fact that you don't like drinking water is very concerning. Is you don't care about yourself. I remember when I was growing up, there was this girl that she was like, I'm not nice to talk to her. She was like, Oh, I think I was in primary five, like year five, and I was like I drank a lot of water that time obviously because my dad taught me like he made he made us he made sure that we were drinking water and we were on our like we were on business with drinking water and I asked her, oh my god, why don't you like drinking water? I realized that she was like, Oh I like drinking water, I like Fanta. Like, I just don't like sorry she didn't speak like that, but like that's what I always do. But um um I don't like drinking water, I like drinking Fanta, like, I don't really want to drink any like anything. I just feel like water is so boring. And then at the time I was like, oh, like in my head I was like, because she was like one of the cool, cool rich girls. So I was like, oh my god, I want to be like her. And then I just, <laughs> like I thought of it. And when I went back home, I was like, how stupid, how stupid of I was to even think that that, that, that that's even a thing. That's from healthy, bro. Anyways, Fanta is not, Fanta, there's no water in Fanta, but okay. Detoxifying is so important. Like, for example, now you can detoxify with lemon and water. Again, Pinterest is your best friend search how to detoxify in the morning you can detoxify with water, water and lemon water and apple cider vinegar one thing I, that i used to get really addicted to at some point <laughs> but don't call me don't call me any form of cultist in the comments i used to really like mixing water and apple cider vinegar hey 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 don't don't fight don't even don't even call my name don't say hey chimso like i was at like a tiny bit like a cap of the of the acv i'm not saying acv apple cider yeah acv and i put it into my water like it's not like i'm adding the water inside this kind of cup i'll carry like my, my big bottle there don't look at my messy room put like the cap inside and then to have like a slight taste the reason why that is very beneficial is because it really helps to detoxify like if you have problems with bloating, well, la, I promise you, the little farts that come out of your system will just be wondering how did it happen. I'm very easy to bloating because first of all, I am dairy intolerant or lactose intolerant. I can't have any form of dairy. If not, I'm gonna bloat for days. Bloat sometimes, probably vomit or go to the toilet, and I'll be to be end on. As in, and then sometimes, even though. It has kind of processed my system after days i'm still having to go through the problems of having so much gas in my stomach i'm drinking acv really help with that if you don't want to drink acv there's um free soul if you don't feel so like just there on tiktok um if you don't feel so they they sell apple apple cider vinegar gummies that to help like detoxify your system like i cannot lie it is something that is so good Detoxifying really helped me with like my movement and I just like really just really just going with my day-to-day -day life just like loving my tummy even more because yes I have a I have a predominantly I don't know small stomach I don't know whenever I bloat it is so noticeable so whenever I like drink a lot of water or just like stick to just like taking my apple cider vinegar with water it just like really clears my system so bad and like, it can really just feel your system being cleared out 
health and it's not even just about bloating gut health like there's a whole thing behind gut health that needs to be studied because it's really really important even when i even spoke about like greens helping digest food that is something that's really really important as well but i'm not an expert i just do what i have seen online and what i'm only telling you what has worked for me personally yeah so i guess this is the end of my video i know it's really short but don't worry more vlogs are coming make sure to comment make sure to like make sure to subscribe make sure to stay on the good side thank you me and my finished coffee we're gonna see you in the next vlog bye